breaking news right now is the only reality. There is no future and there is no past save for what's on your imagination in the screen of your imagination. So you can think about the future and you can think about the past, but you're doing that from the present moment. This video is going to be very powerful for you here today, right now in this moment. So thank you for joining me and make sure you hit that like button and subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any life-changing videos that'll help you level up your life. So let's jump right into today's video for you. Truly right now is the most important moment of your life. There really is no future. You can think about the future, but the future is unfolding right now from this present moment. There really is no past except for what you remember it to be. And on today's video, I'm going to share with you a very powerful technique to help you revise the story from your past, actually. So the idea here is you're only ever existing right now in the present moment. And every moment, there's lots of moments we have throughout the day. In fact, if you do the math and you take 16 hours of a normal day of being consciously awake, right? And then eight hours of sleeping if you get a really great night's rest. But 16 hours times 60 minutes is 960 minutes. You multiply that again by 60 seconds and it's 57,600 seconds. So theoretically, you have 57,600 moments a day, present moments in a day. So that's over 50,000 opportunities to be who and what you want to be. So that's the real question here is who do you want to be? Who do you want to live as? Who do you want to show up as? What do you want to be, do, or have in your life? Well, you've got to embody it right now in the present moment because that is your point of attraction and creation. You are an energetic being living and existing right now, which means your energy that you're emitting via your thoughts and your feelings and your beliefs and your assumptions and your convictions and your expectations and all the things, that is what is currently creating your life. And it's currently attracting the circumstances in your life that match that level of frequency. You don't manifest what you want. You manifest who you are being who you are. That is your manifestation set point. So in other words, you're going to manifest whoever you are being. If you're showing up abundant, feeling abundant, feeling wealthy, feeling rich, feeling like there's endless opportunities all around you, then guess what? Your reticular activating system is going to be looking for all that abundance and opportunities. But if you're feeling poor and lack thereof and like you're a victim and like life isn't fair and nothing ever works out for me and that's your point of attraction, well, guess what? Your reticular activating system is going to be looking for the opposite, lack thereof. Things are hard to do. It's the opposite. Okay. So the same is true in any area of your life. Whoever you're being in that area is your point of attraction and creation. So the idea here and what I want to bring you to on today's video is right now, we need to clean up our present moments each day. If we're not feeling good, we want to discover why, what is going on. When we think about our past, is it conjuring up and making you feel bad? If so, I've got a really cool and powerful exercise you can do for yourself that'll help you start letting go of the past and actually rewriting the past. Because what science will tell you right now is when you think about a memory from the past, you're actually changing it in the present moment. And you might remember, you know, 80% of it, let's say, but the other 20%, you're just simply filling in to the best of your ability. But often it doesn't even reflect what actually happened in the past. So if that's the case, why not just revise any point in your past so that you feel way better about it, so that it is better serving you and it's going to better serve you in your life? Because if you understand this principle I'm talking about today, that the present moment is the only moment that ever exists for you, and it's the most important moment of your life, then it's in your best interest to heal your life and the idea of your life so that you can feel good way more often so that you could step confidently into the version of yourself that you want to be right here and right now so that you're not waiting for something to change in the future because there is no future. The future is unfolding right now. So if right now your desires and your dreams and your wants are eluding you, 
and they seem like they're kind of off into the future and you're still wanting, wishing, hoping, praying for them, that just implies that you don't already have them, that you're not already being them, okay? It implies that you're being somebody who doesn't have those things in their life right now. Okay. In other words, it's like the carrot is dangling out in front of you and it, you're going to just keep chasing after it. And it's always ever going to be out in the future, which doesn't even exist, right? The only existence is right now. I hope you're understanding the power of this idea, right? But the same is true for your past is if you think about your past and you conjure up a memory of the past on the screen of your imagination in the present moment, and it's bad, it makes you feel bad, it makes you feel negative and victim and poverty and unloved and unaccepted and all the bad things, then we need to let go of that. We need to heal that. We need to revise that. Whatever we have to do to feel better in the present moment, that's the main objective. Okay, that's how you manifest to the next level. That's how you create your dream life is by stepping into your true essence and nature right now in the present moment. Because I'm here to tell you, you are limitless. All the stories you tell yourself and all the limitations, that's, that's just created in your mind. You are seriously limitless, right? If you could shed all the stories, guess what? It's a blank slate. You can have, do, or be anything. And that's the main objective here. Okay. So I want to share with you this powerful exercise before we close out today's video. And it has to do with revising your past. So here's exactly what you do. If there is an event that happened in your past, that when you bring up the memory of it on the screen of your imagination in the present moment, it makes you feel bad. Then we, we want to start to revise it. And what you could do here is just keep an open mind and just try this out for yourself. Okay. Understanding that the memory only exists in your mind. Okay. So it's the past is already done. It's we've already lived it. It's already long gone, in other words. So it doesn't exist right now. Your thoughts about it, though, are a cycle that keep playing out, right? So what we want to do is change the cycle, break the cycle, right? So how do we do this? Is we just conjure up the memory. You conjure that memory up in the present moment, and this is your opportunity to remember it as you want to moving forward, not as it occurred. And it's going to seem like a battle of what's real and what's not real. What is real right now is what you're creating via the present moment. So again, we want to shift our reality right now. And this is how you do it. We think about the memory and we remember it as we want to, as it will allow us to feel better. Okay. So if somebody yelled at you or abused you, let's say, you can remember that as that happened to somebody else, not you. Or they, instead of yelled at you or abused you, they gave you a huge hug and they told you they loved you. And, or they apologized profusely and said they were so sorry for what they did to you or what happened. Okay. I, I know you're going to be battling yourself in your mind when you do this, but that's okay. And what we're trying to do here is take the reins of our own life. We don't want to be a victim to what happened to us, right? We don't want to be a victim of our past. We don't want to be a victim in our life and, and at all. So what we're doing is we are revising that memory because every memory has an emotional charge. And if that emotional charge is a vibration that is lower than what you want to be manifesting from, then we need to start cleaning our vibration up. Okay. And our energy up. And this is how you do it. Listen, there's lots of ways to do this. I just wanted to introduce this idea to you and have you try it out on today's video, but let me know in the comments below if this makes sense, or if you want me to go a bit deeper with this idea, because again, I've got millions of ideas and perspectives that I'm going to be sharing on this channel here. So if you like this idea, stay tuned because I'm going to be providing a lot more in the future for you. But with that, I just want to close out by reminding you that right now is the only reality that's the only reality that exists is right now in the present moment. All other things are just being processed on the screen of your mind via your imagination. So if you can start to rewrite your stories and rewrite your history and your past so that you can feel better in every present moment moving forward, guess what you're going to do? You're going to completely change your life. Okay. So that's what I want for you. And I want you to level up like never before. So I hope this video serves you amazingly well. And thank you sincerely for watching, subscribing, and supporting my channel. That means the world to me. With that, I hope you have an amazing rest of your day and I'll see you in the next video.